Soyuz pilot Yuri Gidzenko, flight engineer Sergei Krikalov. The crew of the first expedition to the International Space Station was ready to put its years of preparation into practice. On October 31st, 2000, at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, they boarded a Soyuz spacecraft and launched a new era of world cooperation Four, in space. Three, two, one. We have ignition. We have ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of the Soyuz rocket, beginning the first expedition to the International Space Station and setting the stage for permanent human presence in space. After a two-day trip, the Soyuz approached the orbiting station and docked to the Zvezda module's aft docking port. A permanent human presence on the station began November 2nd as Shepard followed Gidzenko and Krikalov into the module that would be their home for the next four and a half months. Before that day was over, they'd called home and received congratulations and begun the work they had trained for more than three years to do, set up a series of sophisticated modules for the long-term tasks of science and technology development and make the station a place where people can live on orbit. During the first days, the crew members installed and activated systems that make the station livable. Oxygen and water generators, air scrubbers and toilets. Before tackling the computer and communications systems that facilitated station command and control by flight controllers in the Russian Mission Control Center outside Moscow. And a backup system for docking progress supply ships, as well as responding to the unexpected finding a bent pin on a battery connector cable, or dealing with a buildup of condensation in the air conditioner. The station crew received its first delivery of food, clothing, and hardware on a Russian cargo ship on November 17th, when the automatic docking system on that progress ship failed to lock onto its target. Gidzenko activated the backup system and used hand controllers inside the station to remotely maneuver the ship to a safe hookup with the Zarya module. The crew spent the next week unpacking the supplies inside, then reloading the craft with garbage and equipment that was no longer needed on board. The following week, on December 2nd, the International Space Station crew welcomed its first visitors. Astronaut Brent Jett docked Endeavour to ISS, and his crew spent the next six days installing and outfitting the station's new power plant, featuring the largest solar arrays ever flown in space, which provided ISS with the electrical capacity to run its environmental systems in all its modules, opening up the Unity node to the crew permanently. The hatches between the two ships were opened for the first time on December 8th, and veteran U.S. Navy officers Shepard and Jett called upon the traditions of their service. Alpha Endeavour, the, the crew requests permission to come aboard. Endeavour, permission granted. Endeavour, arriving. The crew spent a day together to transfer supplies before Endeavour undocked, backed away, and gave everyone their first good look at the newly expanded space station. The expedition crew set 